James Charles is in trouble again. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, please subscribe, like the video and leave a comment. It really helps. So guys, did you hear about the recent James Charles drama? I'm sure you did. I watched two drama channels videos on on this from Angelica Oz and Sloan and I'm going to react on a few things they said because why the hell not? I want to know your absolute truth like I want to know exactly what you think do you think he's guilty? do you think he's innocent? like what do you think about this whole situation? yeah I would like to know your opinion too leave a comment so the first thing I raised my brows on <laughs> when she said verifying ages I th there is just no legit way to verify someone someone's age especially online like how exactly if i was him and i found myself in a vice scandal the first thing i would do when i'm talking to someone is ask them for id no you can't you just can't you're not an officer you don't have authorization nothing it's just no, just because you have millions of subscribers, it doesn't give you some extra rights. Even the police, they have to have a valid reason. But actually, hear me out. If I am even doubting myself, questioning if they are over the age of 18, they are too young for me. That's right though. But you will learn. I mean, I really don't think he's trying to groom anybody. I mean, he's not stupid. And he already had the bi sister scandal. I'm pretty sure he learned a lot from that too. So, yeah, there's just too much at stake. Try hard. Oh my god, I don't know if somebody can relate, but if I focus too hard, I <laughs> just stop breathing. <laughs> so, back to the drama. The first thing as James Charles that you should be doing is asking them for proof of ID. Like, hey, I know we're getting into it, but before we get into it, can you send me proof of ID? And if they send you a fake ID, because I've seen that argument before, you did your due diligence. You see, there is no legit way to verify somebody's age. That's it. That's why I don't understand. Even if he triple checks and somebody is going to lie about his age, he will. And it's interesting, like... Even if somebody is lying, it looks like it's still James's fault. Like, how? Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not trying to shift the blame on the minors, or in this case, on the 16 year old. But we can ask them, you know, the parents. They should ask the minors what they are thinking, talking to older guys. I mean, at 16 years old, you're not that dumb anymore. You hear things, you know what's going on. So, yeah, just why? Why to engage? Like, I'm irritated. I feel like this is a continuous issue. If another YouTuber had this many allegations, <laughs> at some point we would have to look at it and go, 
Well, I guess we all know how the internet works. Not surprising. Jacqueline Hill and lipsticks. The girl who licked the toilet. There are just things you cannot get rid of, especially online. The other thing, what was a little too harsh, in my opinion, is why doesn't he just date celebrities that he knows are of age? Why doesn't he date people in his industry? Why doesn't he date people who are maybe not in his industry but are quite the adults, like out of uni with degrees, with jobs? Like, why doesn't he date people who are not young? and without a job. Like there is like not a power imbalance, but like you're multi-millionaire famous James Charles. Why do you keep on going for these guys that are just like some random guy in high school in like Arizona or something? Thanks. I'm pretty sure he's looking for someone his age and honestly it's really not easy. And he's honestly talking about his struggles at finding love. So, yeah, why people surprised that he's trying to reach out to people online? That's normal, especially now when we have this pandemic. Okay, it's not too far, not too far. Let's get to this. Oh, Can't believe this. Like, why don't you go for people in your own industry? Because that makes everything so much more easier for you. It just, it's just tips from Angelica to James. Why don't yeah, because that's so professional and not controversial at all. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? Trisha then mentions a few valid points about mm -hmm. how people are blaming these minors for lying about their age. First of all, if someone lies to you about their age, that's still illegal. Okay, Church Angelica. I'm not accusing James of anything. I kind of had to admit it, but him admitting it is him admitting to a crime, which is the concerning part. Mm. Also, bringing up Trisha won't help convincing me that James is guilty on this. I mean, Trisha. Get out of here. No hate, Angelica. Um, subscribe to your channel. Actually, both both of your channels. And I watch your videos, but I don't agree always. Should I camp this out? I don't want. Oh. Okay, let's see where they go. <gasps> I have sniper. Oh yeah, kinda scared. Loki scared. On the other hand, I just started to watch Sloan because of his Britney Spears videos. Hashtag free Britney. Let me see what we have here. So, I just started to watch Sloan and Alright, so we got back to the drama. This is the notification that I got when he snapchatted me first. And just to further proof he deleted the chat, I don't know why he deleted but that's me opening his snapchat. Snapchat is literally the worst source if you want to prove anything. It's like, uh... We all know Snapchat. I went into the bathroom and I guess he saw the bathroom light, so he started making the conversation very... Really uncomfortable. 
and I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. You can't see it because it's blurry because I took it on my iPad because I don't want him to see that I screenshotted it, but I'll post it right now. Yeah, and because you had to be sneaky, you couldn't focus properly. That's it. Also, why not screen record? If you really want to prove something that's the best. I do want to say, okay, this obviously is very wrong, but there is a situation I've noticed with these, like, guys that um, have called out James Charles that a lot of them do take pictures with other devices. So, like, let's say they're talking to James, they got, like, another iPad or something to take a picture of it, which I do find that a little bit, like, concerning at the end of the day. You see? That's what I'm saying, too. At the end of the day, the minor isn't to blame because he is a minor and James is a 21 year old who needs to be responsible. Yeah, that's true. Minors are not to blame. And uh, yeah, James, so far he is, he's taking responsibility, how I know. He always acknowledges these situations, speaking out and apologize when it's needed. So, seriously. You can claim that these people are clout chasers and such, but at the end of the day, he still participated in this conversation knowing it was a minor. Well, that's not totally true. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I wasn't there. It, uh, he said he said situation. But James had a statement, which I'm gonna show you in the end of my video. And he said, that he asked the boy's age and he was lying. There's so much we can do about this. They can fight. I got her on. Gotta go, bitches. So there's Bye. a photo of James and this is his proof that they were talking. He proceeded to send me pictures of his body. Picture of his body. Um, he sent me multiple after. Oh my gosh, I have to cut that because it literally showed a picture of James as like of his peach and you guys know <laughs> yeah i'm sorry but we have seen that peach already there's nothing new yeah and i'll post them now I was oh my gosh i have to black all those out i didn't realize that he had all these pictures in there there could be literally anything or even nothing like i believe people think that oh my god it's such a horrible thing because they had to blur it out but, but yeah, we will never know, I guess. It doesn't prove shit. It's just ridiculous at this point. Oh my gosh, of course this um, video keeps getting removed from the internet because it literally has pictures of James oh, sending inappropriate pictures. I actually did not see how inappropriate those pictures were. That changes it for me, guys. Yeah, I bet. said no to and then i asked why and this is what he said it's sad to say that I okay it's obviously really hard to read but it says just waiting for you to show off and i can't really read the end of it let me know what you guys see at the end but ew no honestly it sounds like he was being teased but what do i know but what do i know it's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So, you are a fan. You are aware of his scandals. And you still engage. Like, why? I'm telling you why. Clout, or sensation, anything. 
people just do fucked up things for literally no reason. Only positive thing about this is that it keeps the conversation going because it is an it is an important subject and it's something we gotta talk about. So at the end of this video I will show James Charles statement and uh, hmm, company and I think it's absolutely believable and it looks honest. I would give him the benefit of the doubt unless he's proven guilty but not by some youtubers or tiktokers because this is just a joke I don't think he has to be cancelled we can call him out so yeah I believe we have to protect uh, the miners but also each other and I wanted to speak out in James Charles defense because it looks like some people well most people quick to judge again and I really don't like that they trying to portray him as some psycho Onision or Shane Dawson because I think the difference is quite clear <laughs> like come on it's not nice whoa that was so stupid of me okay thanks Ooh, let's get that drop mm. first mad kit Finally, I have time focus in the game. <laughs> yeah, is it a bot? Beyond weird. You did not see that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, let me know in the comments what is your opinion on the matter and if you haven't already, subscribe to my youtube channel. Bye! See you in the next one! Thank mm -hmm. you.